Hi, I'm Chris Steyerwald, and this is Power Play. You know it's true, because they just played that whole thing right there. Uh, so the WikiLeaks, eh, comrade? <laughs> Every little leak there in there, Hillary Clinton, not so good for you, huh? Uh, anyway, Julian Assange, who's weird, um, but you know that because you're the Internet. Uh, Julian Assange and his organization, whether leaked to them or hacked by Russians, and this, the government of the United States seems strongly to think that it's hacked by Russians, uh, have gotten a bunch of John Podesta's emails, and it is embarrassing for Hillary Clinton in a lot of different ways. John Podesta, of course, is her consigliere, her senior most senior advisor, uh, in which they talk about everything from uh, disliking conservative religious people uh, uh, and Catholics, uh, but also uh, things like how they want to burn Bernie Sanders and how they worked with friendly journalists and all kinds of stuff like that. Does it actually matter, or is this just the appearance of false balance in media coverage of an election that otherwise would just every day be a picture of Donald Trump with a big cross across his face? So people who know include Paige Lavender. She's, are you the political editor? Yeah. Psh, one, of, one of a few. Snap. Uh, <laughs> political editor at the Huffington Post. Michael Warren, do you want to use a special title? Or should I just say you work for the uh, uh, Weekly yeah, Standard? Yeah, I'm the I'm the secret uh, political editor. He's the stealth political stealth editor, political. flying under know, the radar. Yeah. I was gonna, Bill Crystal has no idea. He has no idea what's <laughs> going that's on. How, but that's how good you I are. Do. That's how good you are. All right, so Paige, the. WikiLeaks stuff. Now, first of all, it's grody because you don't exactly know the you don't know its provenance and you don't know whether it's real. Mm -hmm. And but we've had enough of these verify. I mean, Hillary Clinton essentially uh, confirmed one of them in the debate because she was like, oh, she was so wanted to tell her Lincoln story so much. Ha ha ha. It's very funny. I was actually in the thing that I'm either confirming or not confirming in the thing that I said. It was actually about Abraham. And you're like, whoa. Um, but so some of it's real. I think some of it's real. I think we also found out the risotto recipe might be real, too. What is the risotto recipe? Oh, John Podesta's secret yeah, to right, making right. really good risotto. You add the liquid in a little bit at a time. His secret to risotto. <laughs> so all, his how everyone makes a risotto? That's his, what, how I thought yeah, everyone makes a risotto. I, I do it with Kool-Aid mix, and it really turns <laughs> out weird. Come it on. turns out really weird. No. I, got, I got that from a, a buddy in Hurricane, West Virginia. <laughs> Ew. Um, no, look, uh, there is embarrassing stuff here about colluding with... Uh, media outlets for puffy, favorable coverage. Well, colluding is too strong, but but working, massaging right. media outlets for puffy, favorable coverage, and also for trying to screw over Bernie Sanders and what they really think about Bernie Sanders. Does this affect Hillary's base? Not in the way that anything Trump is doing affects him. We stipulate, him. stipulate, stipulate. stipulate. Uh, we did, okay. okay. Uh, I actually, I don't think this is as heavy as people are making it out to be. I okay. think that the fact that they were sort of figuring out what to do with Bernie, is anyone surprised Duh. by that? I mean, right. they, they were rivals in the Democratic primary. I think the fact that they were sort of figuring out how to handle that situation, you know, even if they were maybe not talking in the most pretty of terms, right. is not shocking. And right. then uh, their relationship with the press, you know, and you know as a journalist. Also, duh. <laughs> duh. Right, duh. Exactly. And you, you know, as a journalist, uh, any any politician and and their team, and is, especially Hillary Clinton, and especially Hillary Clinton, there's going to be there is a relationship with the press. The nothing is ever so cut and dry that it's just here's a story, you know, here's an interview. I don't I don't think that this is as incendiary as some people are making. Trump it. has grabbed a hold of the Catholic stuff right. and the religious stuff with both hands. Uh, Oh no! Yeah. Uh, uh, Trump, Trump, <laughs> Trump is making a great deal right, out right. of that, and uh, in so doing, uh, is trying to drive a wedge between Catholic voters and Clinton, right? Uh, and I guess evangelical voters and Clinton. But is that a thing? It's it's pretty cynical, right? I mean, it's sort of sort of transparently he's taking advantage of whatever group she you know sort right. of spoke of in in un, and this uh, is an email between terms. Jennifer Palmieri, excuse me, yeah, yeah, the, chief and and. And others in the campaign where she is speaking in, in mockerful terms about conservative Catholics. Right, right. But but look, I, I'm not. I'm going to make very boring internet TV here and say <laughs> I agree with Paige well. about the uh, about the uh, the impact of this. Right. And, and I'll tell you why it's the difference between this and say the big Trump video is. Right. Uh, this is the kind of routine, uh, dirty stuff of Grinding politics. It, yeah. Yes. That that everybody kind of figures uh, is is already being done. Yeah. I mean, people who don't like Hillary Clinton will find everything. And they, Trump, and, th and that helps Trump. Now, the part of this that That's helps right. Trump is that he wants to stoke as much of the fires of enmity against Hillary Clinton as he can right now. And so maybe by saying, and they hate Catholics, and they're this, and they're the other, 
that if they can draw out those things, maybe he can try to keep his base together. Because right now, he's facing the possibility of more Republican defections. That's true. And I think at this point in the race, he's got to do anything he can to try to keep his base together because there have just they're been... They're there. They're like 80% They're there, there. But, but still. You, but you, there's a difference between emails, you know, that people are reading out loud... And, and audio yes. and celebrity Video. audio. Ex- yes. Exactly. And something that and people can hear. And that if, if is it's about sex. That's right. If it's bleeped out on TV, what's the first thing people do? I'm going to go look it up right. on the Internet. All right. Last thing is, in a weird way, Hillary Clinton benefits from part of this in the general election. Yes, it may dissatisfy the, the Sandersistas. Right. But... It benefits because basically she's revealing herself to these bankers and she's revealing herself behind closed doors. I'm a very moderate, corporate, pragmatic Democrat, right? So she is basic. It's a message for suburban voters right. when she's saying that stuff I said in the primary. I was lying. I right. was lying. Right. right. I mean, it, the, the worst thing would be if she said, actually, I'm trying to start the revolution. <laughs> right. Here. But, but 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 of course, she's not. And, and tell because no it's not one. who she is. So. Tell no one. Yeah, tell, exactly. Do not tell Comrade Bernie. We are even <laughs> to the left of him. Ha, ha, ha. Guys, thank you for being with us. And you, Internet, thank you for being with us. And we hope you come back for more Power Play real soon.